know, some of the hardest fish to catch uh, when you're fishing soft plastics, when you're throwing in real shallow water and those fish take off swimming 100 miles an hour and it's hard to catch up with them and it's hard to set the hook. But even if you run the risk of that fish filling you and dropping the bait, you've got to catch up with that fish before you set the hook. I missed several fish today by setting the hook when I wasn't on a tight line. So even though you don't like running that risk of that fish feeling you, do whatever you have to, but before you set the hook on that floating worm, be sure you catch up with that fish. And unlike a worm that's got a lead on it and you feel that definite thump and you're in control, that floating worm's just freewheeling it out there. And a lot of times that fish gets it and comes to you. And by the time you realize it, if you don't have a tight line, you're most likely gonna miss that fish. So catch up with that fish before you set the hook. Got you a little mouthful of pink worm, didn't you, buddy? You got your whole mouthful.